So the Dockrin this morning is quite tight between both the stern and then there's another similar dock at the bow so we don't have a lot of room so we're going to try springing off which means having a bow line which will lead aft this one isn't far enough and then we motor in against that to allow the stern to come out by the force of the propeller. We're putting a bow spring into place so we can motor forward against the fender. So we're gonna remove first almost all the lines so we're ready to just drop the last two, which will be a bow spring so we can motor against it and then the final stern line. And we're ready to give it a try. And we'll motor up into this corner here. Okay, so tonight we use a spring line a different way. We need to move docks. This dock is very, very tight, so there's no room on either side here. We don't have to spring to get off the dock because the wind is blowing us off anyway, but we can't really maneuver. So if we let go of the boat, we'll just go all over the place until we get some way on. So what we're gonna do is leave the stern line till the last. It'll act as just a line holding us in place until we get lined up the right way and then we can set off. So. Can you let off the spring, please? Then we have to move into another dock at the other end, and in that one, we're gonna use a spring to come into it. So in this case, we should be good. Cheryl can get the line on board. Everything's safe, and then just let the bow off. So in this case, we'll just use the wind to do all the work and blow the boat into roughly the right position to head out of the aisle in the marina. Information on the bow there. So she's in gear. Bow's clear, but we don't want to leave yet because we're not aiming the right way. So we'll wait till we're blowing over till the right direction. And the wind, in this case, the wind will just take us over. There you go, that's about right. We're still safe on the stern. We've got fenders fairly far aft and forward in case we end up coming up against anything. So let's let this line off. We got all lines back on board. So now we just have to motor over to the other side of the harbor where they wanted us to move to a new dock. So although we have bow and stern thrusters, we don't need to use them. And it's nice to practice what the boat, how the boat handles without them. So we might need them. So I've got them turned on here. We're ready to use them if we do need them. In this case, I need to make a fairly sharp turn. The marina is quite tight in here and I can use the stern thrust of the prop. Can you do bow info please for me? Yep. Not much space here to maneuver in. So that's our dock up ahead. Again, there's almost no room to turn. So I'll see if we can, perhaps we might need a bow spring. So we get that one ready to go too. We'll see how it, the approach goes to the dock. Use the prop walk to spin us off. Okay, I've got a stern, sort of. It's 
So ready to change with the plans as things go a little differently than we thought. Now we'll move back because it's a long dock. This little self-tacker sail is really, really good close to the wind. It comes in with such a blade wing. It really works great. Making better than 30 degrees apparent, closer to 30 degrees apparent. That's really, really perfect. On a day like this, we're lucky to have it out in Solon where there's midweek now, so very few boats out here and enjoy this great piece of craft. This is the Needles. It's got to be the most iconic area on the whole of the British coastline. It is just a spectacular sight and gosh, do we get the right day for it. We've got this light wind, we've got, it's really quite warm. And now late in the afternoon, perfect sun on it too. Now the tides run really strong around the Needles and uh, it's definitely an important tide gate. It's the one entrance here coming into this uh, western end of the Solent. Imagine the storms when they crash up onto this lighthouse. We've had guests this past week and are now finally ready to cast off from England. Please throw in a comment if you'd like more of these how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe to be notified of our next videos as we head south for the Mediterranean.